This past weekend, the Granite Ridge Golf Club in Milton was the site of the mayor's annual golf tournament to benefit the United Way. Tina McEwen was there. The Mayor's Golf Tournament for United Way in Milton is in its 22nd year. The money raised is expected to exceed last year's record. We have had an incredible turnout this year with over 288 golfers coming out to support the United Way of Halton and Hamilton. Um, it's been an incredible year for support. We had over 80 sponsorships sign up well before May, so four months ago we already had the sponsorship signed out. Uh, the town of Milton has really stepped up to show their support for this year's tournament. This event has been going on for over 22 years now, and uh, Mayor Kranz played a critical role in getting this event up and running. Everyone loves to come out and support not only Mayor Kranz, but the United Way, a great cause that supports their community. Mayor Kranz spoke to where the money raised will be used in the community. Let me go back just a year ago. We raised $196,000. There was an individual in the crowd named Gary Gagars who worked for Mad Me at the time. They topped that up to $200,000 to raise for the uh, United Way of Melton, Halton, and, and of course, uh, Hamilton. And of course, the money that's raised here in, uh, in Melton and Halton stays here as well. So. That's what we're doing here today. With uh, United Way, they have, to the best of my knowledge in the past, at least 25 to 28 different groups and organizations that they support. So it's really wide ranging. And as an example, I use this just to illustrate where they would support, uh, say, uh, Salvation Army or, you know, bereaving uh, parents and, you know, organizations like that. Uh, they support a lot of different organizations, not only in Melton here, but Halton. To date so far, this event has raised over $250,000 this year alone. Um, in total, over the 22 years that it's been running, it's raised over $3 million. So it's a, it's a huge event that supports our communities. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Tina McEwen.